Hey guys, this is Levi with Warhorse Weapons, and uh, we're gonna do a little review on the 17 HMR. Uh, some of you have seen my video with the uh, 940 uh, Pro Tactical Mossberg. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe to our videos. That helps keep these things going. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about today about the 17. You know, I'm a gun guy. I've been I've run all kinds of guns, but I've never really been into a 17. But I will tell you, these I've just been having a lot of fun with it. I mean, these things are just as deadly. I mean, you can shoot varmints, pigs. I mean, you name it. They're 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 crazy accurate. They've just it's just a fun fun gun to shoot. The ones that we've chose, there's a lot of different 17s out there, but the ones that we're doing right now is it's called the Ruger Precision Rimfire. And the reason we chose this one is because of the M-Lock rail, so we can attach lights and lasers and you know accessories. Um, again, we're going to start with tip and go back. So it's threaded with HAPA 28, nice bull barrel, ultra accurate, crazy accurate, as accurate as you can be. We have the M-Lock rail, which allows you to put any type of accessories and IR lights, you know, mounts for your tripods, anything like that. Going back, one thing I do want to mention is the new IRA bolt. TD50L 4 to 16. These things are so far have been amazing. Uh, they're four micron. Uh, they've it's just amazing. Is it so far? They're new, but so far they've been absolutely fantastic. The clarity on them is great. They've just been really, really good. The zoom is great. Everything. It, it, it is a digital night vision. It's not thermal, it's digital night vision, so it does take IR light, but which is, you know, we, we do a lot of both. We do thermal and digital night vision, but we really enjoy the digital night vision on the 17s. But these little 17s, they're just so much fun. And like I said, this, this is the one we chose. There's a lot of them, but this is the one we chose just because of the modularity of it and the adjustability on the stocks, you know, the, your cheek piece, your, your butt stock, the avail avail availability of different uh, magazine capacity sizes. Um, they're just great. This one we did in, they come in black, but you could always customize them. We did a stripper camo on this one in tan and just absolutely love it. And Sheila is over here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, that's Sheila right there. And um, we've got, we, we, we've been out shooting all kinds of varmints from coyotes to coons to pigs and so far it's been really great so these things i mean i'm a gun guy never really been into the 17s but really really digging it the 17s i mean you can shoot coons you can shoot coyotes even hogs within distance works very very well and this one here happens to be my personal one and uh i do like i did the black with the stripper camo because we can't do just regular guns here but it's the guys that if you're an ar guy this is really good because it, it's it's modular modular like an ar so you can run ar lights ir lights grips bipods tripods whatever you want it's just it's just like an ar you can pretty much it's very modular and of course we run always run suppressed if we can this thing is just it's just been so much fun i mean it's just i've, I've shot a lot of guns but the 17 has just been so much fun the, the ammo is cheap it, it it just the terminal performance of these are great and if you want to see this thing in action, hunting, just go right here, click, see these things in action, killing stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. And you can actually see what they can do. It's, it's, it's great. They're just, they're just a lot of fun, cheap fun that's, that'll, that anybody can do, anybody can have fun with. And they just work really, really well. And 
it's a tack driver, by the way. I mean, you 100 yards, these things will put well below sub MOA groups, absolute tack drivers, just standard Hornady factory ammo. It's great and they, it works very, very well. So something else is the adjustability of these. The, the cheek piece, you can adjust it straight to you for whatever optic you're running. The length of pull is great because depending on the optic or the size of the person, fully adjustable. The Something else I really like is the large knob. I mean, it, it is absolutely, I mean, it, you can't miss it. I mean, it's just, it's even when you're out hunting, it's just, you grab it, throw it up, throw it down. I mean, you can't miss it. It's absolutely fantastic. But again, I can't say enough about the 17. It's just, it's been a really, really fun gun. This particular gun is super modular. Also, if you're familiar with ARs, I mean, the trigger and that safety and the grip are the same. So it's just like running an AR. If you're familiar with those, it's gonna be very, very familiar with you. It's gonna be easy, just like running an AR, no problem. It's just the bolt. Just gotta to learn to run a bolt fast, which with the big knob, very, very easy. I've done it many a times. It's just, it kind of comes natural. Just a couple of times, you it just comes natural, just like an AR-15. But if you ever run these suppressed, I mean, 17s are fairly loud, but if you run these things suppressed, they're impressively quiet. Especially, I mean, the larger suppressor you run, the I mean, impressively quiet. Right now we're running, we threw on the uh, Texas Silencer Company Outrider, 100% titanium, super light. These, I mean, you don't even know it's on the end of your gun and they make it absolutely quiet. I mean, your neighbors, nobody's gonna hear it. It's, it's fantastic. And I wanna go back again, like on this particular rifle. Again, there's so many 17s out there, but this one, the modularity, the reason I chose this one is because of the modularity, because it has QD, sling swivels in the back. It's got aim lock in the front, so you can run your regular AR sling, any attachments, Just it's, it's just like your AR. If, if you don't like it, you change it, you bolt on this, you bolt on that. It's just, that's why we, there's lighter guns out there. This one's not crazy heavy, nothing you can't handle, but it's just so modular that that's why I chose it because you can fix it up, rig it up, however you hunt, however your style is, whatever optic you use, however you, your, your style of hunting, whether you're on foot, whether you're on tripods, whether you're on the move, basically you can set this gun up however fits you personally, which I'm a huge modular guy. So, I mean, it, it's all about setting things up for you because everybody's different. And what I like may not be what you like, and what you like may not be what I like. So everybody, the modularity is the best thing about the guns coming out today is that you can set it up for what fits you. That's why I chose the Ruger Precision Rimfire. And so far, this thing, absolute tack driver, you'll see. We'll do some accuracy testing and show you the groups that it can put down at 100 yards. It's just, so far, it's been absolutely fantastic. And if you want to check these out more, you can always go to warhorseweapons.com. Check them out. We have them on our website. They're absolutely fantastic. And uh, get yourself one, and I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. So I know I told you guys we were going to show you how to sight these in, but who wants to see that? And depending on what optic you're running, everybody's got something different, whether it's thermal, night vision, digital night vision. So we're not going to go into that. We're just going to show you what what these things do, show them in action, show you how accurate they are and how deadly they are. We've been invited out to the golf course tonight, which is great. They've provided us with a wonderful little golf cart, put all our stuff in, get us around so we don't have to walk as much, which is great. But we want to take, this is the, again, the Ruger RPR, Ruger Precision Rimfire, crazy accurate little guns, as you'll see. And, uh, of course, we had to do ours in stripper camo because we can't have just plain ones. But I'm running the Wraith 4K Mini with a little IR light and a suppressor. I mean, no big deal. not very expensive. Cheap way to have a lot of fun. And uh, so we'll go out and see what she can do. But 
you know, if you guys haven't ever shot 17s, which I'm kind of the same way, I've never been into the 17s, but I've had so much fun with these things. It's really, it's really worth looking into and you can have a lot of fun and you can kill anything from varmints up to pigs with these things. It's, it's just really amazing. It's really amazing and how accurate they are. It's just a really, really cheap fun, I guess you could say. But, and as you can see, I don't hate all you guys, but just some of you. So we'll be back. Once it goes broadside, we'll do the countdown. Alright, ready? Whoop, 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 whoop. Three, two, one. Digging up the green. There's the green. There's the flag. He's out here just tearing it up. So you're trying to help him. I mean, you can actually see some of the damage of what they what they do. Big and healthy. Oh, come here, Bill. Oh, don't touch me. Look of death. It's pretty bad when you kill more claws than armadillos, but yeah, it's what it is, you know. It'll buff out. It'll always buff out. All right, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the kill shots tonight. We killed every armadillo we shot at, as you can see right here. Hope I don't get leprosy, but uh, again, this is the first 17 I've ever owned. Just, just, I'm in awe. I, I, I'll, I'll have one from now on, but I will tell you the eye ray takes in more light than any day night scope I've seen, but We've had a good time. We've, we've killed everything we've shot at. We did not pick up the skunk, but uh, remember, always start at the tip and work your way back.